Hello everyone, in this lecture, we are going to explain line by line, Sonnet 5 by William Shakespeare. But if you are new to my channel then please subscribe the channel and like the video. Let's start it. Those hours that with gentle work did frame. In this first line Shakespeare says that the time which has created the young man's beauty with care and skill. Basically, in this line the poet claims that his beloved's beautiful is made by time with great skill. And in the next line says. The lovely gaze where every eye doth dwell. This line means that the his beloved's face is so beautiful because it attracts everyone's attention. Basically, the poet wants to say that time has framed his beloved's face so beautiful that everyone pays attention to his beloved. We'll play the tyrants to the very same. But in this line, he further says that time is not only kind but it is also cruel. Basically, the time will act cruelly and oppressively towards his beloved's beauty like a tyrant. Simply, you can say that the time which has made a beautiful face will also damage it like a tyrant, and that unfair which fairly doth excel. It means that time will make the young man's beauty unfair, or ugly, even though it surpasses all others in fairness, or beauty. You can simply say that it is the very time which has made the man's face so fair and defeated others in competition of beauty. But this time will also make it unfair. Then in the next line he says. For never resting time leads summer on. This line means that it is the time which never stops moving and it brings summer to an end. Simply, it is the time of summer which makes everything beautiful but the time moves on and finally the end of summer comes to an end. You can see when a summer comes to an end the everything becomes ugly. So, same is the case of beauty of the beloved who enjoys the summer of his age. To hideous winter and confounds him there. By this line it means that time leads summer to winter, which is ugly and harsh, and destroys summer's qualities. In other words you can say, finally the beautiful summer of the man is covered by a hideous winter. And his beauty slowly vanishes and fades away, sap checked with frost and lusty leaves quite gone. This line means that the sap, which gives life and nourishment to the plants, is stopped by the frost, and the leaves, which are full of vitality and color, are completely gone. Beauty o'er snowed and bareness everywhere. In this line Shakespeare says that beauty is covered by snow and bareness, or lack of life and ornament, is everywhere. In other words you can say, in this line he says that the beauty of nature is covered by the snow and trees and plants fall their leaves and everything becomes unattractive. Then were not summer's distillation left. This line essentially means that if the essence of summer weren't preserved somehow, it would all disappear. It emphasizes the fleeting nature of summer and its associated qualities. Simply, the speaker uses the metaphor of summer to represent youth and its vibrant qualities, while distillation represents the possibility of preserving some part of it. Simply, this line means that if the beauty or essence of summer is not preserved. Then says in the next line. A liquid prisoner pent in walls of glass. Distillation refers to liquid that is trapped in glass bottles. Basically, it talks about the essence of summer, captured and trapped like a liquid prisoner in a glass container. Simply, it means if the beauty is not saved like a perfume in a glass bottle, so it will vanish from the world. So, it indicates that Shakespeare is trying to say to his beloved to preserve his or her beauty through producing offsprings. Beauty's effect with beauty were bereft. In this line again he is trying to emphasize the point that if beauty is not preserved, so it will vanish. Actually, the word, bereft, means deprived or lacking. So, the line suggests that if beauty is not preserved or contained in some way, it would lose its own essence or quality. Nor it nor no remembrance what it was. 
This line means that neither the distillation or any memory of what it was would remain. Simply, you can say, if it is not saved or preserved then people would even not remember it. But flowers distilled though they with winter meet. This line means that flowers that are distilled, or turned into perfume, even though they encounter winter. Simply, here, Shakespeare says that if flowers are distilled, then they will still exist after meeting the cruel winter. And then says, Lease but their show, their substance still lives sweet. In this last line he concludes and says, if they lose only their appearance, their essence still remains sweet. Simply, if flowers are distilled then their physical body will vanish but their remaining substance will give sweet smell. If you have enjoyed this lecture then please don't forget like and subscription to the channel. Thank you.